To draw the resonance structures for CO3 2 minus the carbonate ion, we start with a valid Lewis structure. So we can see each of the atoms, they have an octet here, and we're using only the valence electrons that we have for this structure. We could also add the formal charges on the oxygen here with the single bond, that's minus one, and this oxygen here with the single bond has a formal charge of minus one. Those both add up to minus two. That makes sense. So this is one Lewis structure that we could draw. When we talk about resonance, we often talk about pushing electrons to draw different resonance structures. So that means I could move these valence electrons right here from the double bond out here, and then these electrons on the single bond, I could make a double bond here. That would look like this. So we'll move these two out here like this. Then we'll move these two right here to form the double bond. The formal charges, they'll still be on the oxygens with the single bond, so these two here. When we did this, note that we maintained the same number of valence electrons in each of these structures, and that the atoms, they didn't move, only the electrons moved. Let's draw another one. Let's push these electrons up here, now we have a single bond, and then we can push these electrons to form a double bond. Again, our formal charges, those will be on the oxygens, with the single bonds. So this is another resonance structure we can draw for the carbonate ion. We should put these arrows between resonance structures as is convention, and we should put brackets around the resonance structures. So these are the three ways we could draw the resonance structures for CO3. Note that we have the same number of valence electrons in each structure. Everything has an octet, they're valid Lewis structures, and we didn't move any atoms, we only moved electrons. Understand that these arrows, they don't mean that we're switching back and forth. These are all just three different ways to look at the same structure for the carbonate ion. In fact, the actual structure is an average of the three. That might look like this. You can see with this representation, we really just have an average of these three here. This is Dr. B with the three equivalent resonance structures for CO3 2 minus, and thanks for watching.